So if you just bought SOLIDWORKS X Design for Makers, this video is gonna help you get logged in, set up, and familiar with all the stuff that you're getting. Now look for the email like this one with the subject line, get started with your 3D experience subscription. It'll say SOLIDWORKS X Design for Makers is ready for you. And then there'll be this big blue button to launch your 3D experience platform. Now you want to bookmark that link in your browser because that's your unique login to the platform for your license. So log in with your 3D experience ID and that's just the email and password that you used when you purchased your license. And here you're gonna see this default dashboard. You get a brief welcome tour. And so just cycle through that and then take a minute to watch the video that plays. It's gonna explain the parts of the dashboard and then the resources that are in the welcome app because that's the easiest way to get started with everything. Now, if you miss out during the tour, you can go back and watch that video right here in the list. It's also a really good idea to watch the three minute video on platform setup before you go too far. You know, for example, if you bought more than one license for SolidWorks X Design, this is going to walk you through inviting that other user and uh, granting them access to their apps. There's also a couple other things that we go over there too. Uh, so it's worth the three minutes, trust me. Since all the apps in SolidWorks X Design run in your browser, you're actually ready to start designing if you want to. There's nothing to install, right? Just click on the full screen button there in the upper right and start making your first model. I thought it might be helpful though to run through the full suite of apps that make up SolidWorks X Design. They're all available from the welcome app and you can also get to them from the compass menu if you wanna click there and then dive in that way. So just a quick look before we start our project, okay? The main X Design app is your parametric 3D part and assembly modeling tool. You know, think sketch, extrude, cut, revolve, those types of things. X shape is the subdivision surface modeler to quickly create complex organic shapes. Think of that as your digital clay sculpting environment. X sheet metal makes it easy to do sheet metal design in production with accurate 3D models and then get automatic flat patterns out of it. X-Frame generates feature-based structures from standard or custom profiles, and then it automatically trims members and creates cut lists so you're ready for fabrication. X-Mold speeds up your core, cavity, and insert design work when you're designing molded parts. Now, X-Motion design is a little bit different. It's for simulating complex ranges of motion with kinematic and dynamic analysis. And when your design's complete, you usually need to get that info into someone else's hands, right? So you can define your detailed 2D drawings and 3D annotations with X Drawing. You can create and share photorealistic renderings of your product in X Studio. And you can make crisp, clean, technical illustrations for things like user guides and product descriptions with X Highlight. So we're just about ready to get back with Jason and kick off that project. But at some point, go through the rest of the content here in the Welcome app. The Learning Center has videos and tips and lessons to teach you even more about the X Design tools and the 3D Experience platform. The Public Community section is there to connect you with the latest news and info. And it also gets you engaged with other SolidWorks users and fellow makers. Now there's one more thing that I wanna do before we start our project. I promise that's the last thing, but I wanna go here to the Communities tab and click on Conversations. There, I'm gonna create a new chat conversation with Jason so we can talk through any questions that we have and then jot down our plans and updates. Then I'll click on the plus sign up here to create a new tab on my dashboard. Name it Whiteboard and then click on the compass and scroll down to find the 3D whiteboard app. Just drag that over onto the dashboard and then up at the tab, set it to fit. Now we'll show you how we use that in our project in the next video. I think it's pretty cool. All right, now hopefully that's a pretty good intro for you. I know you're excited to start using everything. So I say go for it and have fun.